Well, the me has a hardcore and major investment into a world that is not real. This world that we're living in and we're in interaction with it on every moment basis has no substance. It's not real. And because it's not real, it can't continue holding its structural integrity. It cannot remain the same. It's continuously changing from one thing to another thing. So we're trying to hang on to it. And sometimes it appears like it's continue being the same for a short period of time, but then it changes from one thing to another thing. It's very clear, just look at the history. And it also, you recognize it stronger, stronger if you have lived in a country or a region which war happened to be there and everything was normal, you had your country, you have your region, you had your city, and then the war came. And all of a sudden, your reality is rocked. And your city or your country is in ruins because it's been bombed or overrun by another army or whatever. Businesses are destroyed, wealth are gone, people are killed, some people are raped, some people are dismembered, and your reality is changed permanently. Now that could be war. What about natural disasters? Like there is volcano, or there is hurricane, or there is earthquake. And what was your reality is destroyed, and it's a different reality now. Now, those of you who lived in those kind of regions that either was hit by a natural disaster or war came, or a revolution came in this lifetime. So you know that your reality can change from one thing to another. These are different levels I'm talking about. Let's say, or you lost your business. You were very wealthy, you were doing very good, or your family was doing very good, and then something happened, a number of different decisions were made, and your family lost their wealth. And you went from being the top of the world to the bottom of the world. From being very well off, you went to poverty. Some of you may have experienced that you're flying high in April and you're shot down in May. You're doing really well physically. Everything's going your way. You can't do anything wrong. Everything is going your way. And then all of a sudden you're diagnosed with some kind of terminal illness. And they give you three months to live. Or you go on an operating table and they start taking, cutting out your body parts. And you lose your abilities. You can't do the things you used to do. You're on medication. You're dis, dismembered. You're disabled. And your world changed. Or maybe you were in an amazing relationship with somebody and something happened to them. They got in a car accident or they died or they left you and your reality changed. We're trying to hang on to this world, to our reality, to whatever we're experiencing. We keep thinking it's real and we're really invested in it and we're trying to keep it the same, but it doesn't remain the same. It's always changing from one thing to another. If you 
lived in Southeast Asia and you lived in Vietnam 30 years ago, you would, you would be in a war-driven area. But now it's peaceful. If you were in Europe in 1940s, in 1935, everything is peaceful relatively and nothing's going on. And all of a sudden, by 1939, war comes and the whole continent was destroyed. If you lived in 1920s in Europe, or you go back, just keep going back and forth. You know, different regions, if you lived in, let's say, Syria or Iraq in 1990 or 1995 or 2000 or Afghanistan or Libya or in Iran or in Africa in some places or South America. So when the war came or even in Europe, in Bosnia. So your reality all of a sudden changes. You lose friends, family, possessions, your business. And now worldwide, this thing is happening. This pandemic thing is happening. Who in the right mind ever thought in January of 2020 that all of a sudden the world will go upside down? Who thought about that? I mean, so many people, so many companies were really heavily investing into real estate or, comp or other companies or whatever they were doing. And all of a sudden, they all went upside down. Look how many businesses have gone, whether locally or, or internationally or nationally, and they've gone bankrupt. So you can, now we're in this situation, we can see how things are changing and the reality we're hanging on to is shifting from one thing to another. So who's behind it? Why is this happening? What's the purpose of this? Why are we experiencing this? Why is our world is being rocked? Who's behind this? Is there a malice intention? There's different levels to it, but on the very, very highest level, at the ultimate truth, we do have the ultimate truth, the ultimate reality, and we have the relative reality. In the relative reality, there's a you and me and everyone else appears to have their own free will, appear to have their own, they can do whatever they think they can do, and we're acting accordingly. In the ultimate reality, there's only one. There's one intelligence choosing for everyone and everything, and is operating the entire existence. And there's never been a second one in it involved. It's only the appearance, what appears to be the other. It looks like there are other people. It looks like there's other things. But they're all a part of that one. They're all images, fingerprints, images, the expressions of the oneness, the expressions of the absolute. There's only one. It's like a disco ball. You have a disco ball, and if you look at it, the disco ball starts to turn, and a lot of times they're projecting light to it, or it's got its own light, it doesn't matter. And it's shooting out all these images across the, the room, the hall that the disco ball is in, in a nightclub or wherever, and it's turning, and all these images that it's projecting, they're turning with this turn of the disco ball. 